Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen this face before, hi, my name is Prudence, and today's video is basically gonna be a continuation or a part two of another video that I did. So basically, I gave um, a race or dorm room tour, and in that dorm room tour, initially I wanted to fit basically the tour of my room, my entire dorm my entire building and also share my experience as to how living in a private student accommodation is like or like how has living in my building been like but unfortunately um i could not fit all of that into in the entire video i could only fit like the tour of my dorm and my room so yeah and i promise that i'll actually make like a part two as continuation to actually fit the tour of my entire building and also my experience and yeah so this is it i am back with part two i'm mostly actually doing this for the people who actually um mm -hmm. are in the application process for university right now as it is um june no it's not yeah it's june right now so i know like a lot of people are still applying for varsity and yeah so if a person maybe actually found my first video and they're like oh this is like an okay living space and they want to see maybe the building know more about like the place that i live in so maybe they can apply or whatever because I know people don't want to live on on campus race because um, there's the thing you would see the rules are actually just like too much or something like that and yeah they want to be free birds and live in private student accommodation so yeah and they don't know which one to choose I'm giving you an option I'm not giving you options I'm just giving you one I feel like even if you're a person who actually wants to live on on-campus race and you know you apply for on-campus race i would advise that you also look into like a few private student accommodations because i also initially wanted to live on on-campus race but i did not get placing and that's something that's actually very normal to not get placing just because there's so many students so it's a possibility so i would advise that you also do look into private accommodations so that maybe if you don't get placing at least you know go see okay i did my research and there's this type of student accommodation private student accommodation that i can apply to because i've already done my research and i like that one so background i am a first year student at the university of pretoria and the private student accommodation that i live in is called festivals age um and it is five minutes away from on campus like the main campus of the university of pretoria in this video i'm not going to be showing like how the rooms or like the dorms and units look because i've already shared that in my previous video so if you want to see how the rooms look the kitchen the bathrooms blah 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 you can check out my previous video i'm gonna link it down in the description box yeah i'm just gonna show all the common places in the building or communal places in the building um how the building looks the vibe of the building and how it looks and also just share my experience as to how living in private accommodations or a private accommodation is like so without further ado let's get into the tour so the tour starts at the front of my building there's a security desk down there and then there's a waiting area when you go to security and want to report a problem and then up there it is a sign at the door it says make your mark in this world and i think that's very cute love the lights and the plants i feel like the building gives off such pinteresty vibes love living here it's so cute and then you have the waiting area of the reception so cute like it literally has a neon sign that says good vibes only and then you have the reception area um where you go report problems about accounts and living in the building and then next to it it is maintenance um and then when you walk straight um this is where basically you enter the building and there's another sign that says be stronger than your excuses 
basically when you enter to the rooms you have to use your fingerprint or biometric because the building is very very safe no randoms can enter okay when you bring in a guest you have to send them in and they come in through that door um only security has access to it have a vending machine another waiting area i'm not sure what this one is for stairs for people who like to act like they are active and we have an elevator for people who like me who like elevators um i love this elevator mirror for mirror picks elevator mirror picks duh. and then we have some building rules there and then we also have some office hours um they post things like this around the building so that you are always informed and then the next place i'm gonna show you it is the study area we also use biometrics to enter the study areas of our building to make sure that only people in the building can access the thingies and not your guests okay it's a little overview of the study area of the building very cute very pinteresty like i said um yeah there's a trash can for papers because we're not allowed to bring in food and then we have three cute desks um to study alone most people just study alone in this desk i love that we have plugs at the back so that you can charge your laptop or phone whatever love the lighting of the room um studying in bright areas actually just makes me more motivated and then here you can collaborate or study with other people in this big desk um we have another coat at the back it says go big or go home mate okay there's no mates but yeah I love saying that and then we have the aircon and then we have a board here where you can write so cute that it's so cut at the end that is so cute and then the next part i'm gonna show you it is the computer room one um so this is an overview so basically this is technically not a computer room it's more of like a laptop workstation because it's just filled with like laptop workstations um yeah but i think it's cute very very cute it has another thingy coats push the boundaries and then there's an icon at the top love all the colors and i love the love the piece of art that's just randomly there it's so creative so so creative that's it for computer room one computer room two um an overview of computer room two very much looks like computer room one um yeah it has the same colors have the same vibe um it has another it has a coat on the wall it says anyone can be cool but awesome takes practice what is different from this computer room to the other computer room is the fact that this one has computers which are owned by the building so that students who don't have laptops and maybe like your laptop broke you can use the computer room in your building and you don't have to go all the way to campus convenience friends another thing that i think is very cute and interesting about our building it has these graffiti walls in every floor and then at the end of the graffiti it says like the number of the floor like floor three here and then we also have a student life manager and that's her office um oh yay off the rooftop yes um that is the escape plan so that we don't burn to ashes when there's fire those are the bathrooms of the rooftop when we have events you don't have to run back to your room to actually release yourself those are the bathrooms there um, and then those are the rules of the building, some of the more rules, um, that is a grievance procedure um, thingy, um, yeah, I forgot the name, and then that is more rules of this particular area. Now let me show you all the bathroom um, of the rooftop, I love that the doors all have um, mirrors behind them, it's my favorite part about the building, or my favorite thing about the building, Bam another mirror and then that's a basin down there and then there's a towel hanger and also i think i saw thingy i don't know what's that and then toilet yeah that is it for the bathroom we're outside now and then basically this is me just trying to show you an overview of um how our rooftop looks ah oh, it's so cute i love it yeah i love the colors i love look at the sky it's blue it's so cute 
that is a bright area and then that's a table next to it where you can put your things after buying mm -hmm. vibes um yeah but this is very cute it's very beautiful i love that they have these chill thingies um they have this thing at the top which shields you from the sun and then they have this fake grass where you can sit and it's so cute those are deflated um bean bags which you can sit on um and then one thing about living here that i love is definitely the view the view guys it makes me feel like i've made it in life even though yeah i'm literally only still doing my first year and i have zero friends in my bank account that is me trying to show you that we live next to um the how train not not station but rail thingy and then that is my school there that is the university of pretoria right there and then our rooftop had these swing thingies that thing had swing on it and then it's a table it used to be very cute but then yeah the swings were very shaky yeah so that's another sitting area um i'm sure you've seen this chess piece when i was doing the overview i hate it um and then i feel like this wall is something interesting to look at it's some sort of pledge I'm not sure what type of pledge I always wonder what those plants are because nobody waters them but they're alive next thing i'm gonna show you guys is the games room um here's an overview of the games room um very cool chill spot so so cool and then there's a whiteboard on the side which you can write on and of course there's a coat because it's kind of a signature of the building let me move the stupid chair so that we can read the coat together it says be a game changer the world is full of players i think that's dumb but okay um and then that's a game i'm not sure what's the name of the game or how you play it but yeah other people do and then we have a pool table i don't know where the balls are but when other people are playing there's balls i don't know where they went and then we have a cool pinteresty chill area with the plants and all and then they are indoors beanie bags um so comfortable i love them the tv was playing we also have dstv so nice um and then that's a foosball table i'm guessing i don't know i'm not sure next we have the laundry room i was quick here because there, there was a person in here but on the right we have the washing machines and on the left we have the dryers and then we have the sink to wash our shoes and then we have another foosball table the ball is lost and then at the back we have the ironing boards yay and then outside we have the laundry lines for people who don't prefer using tumble dryers they can still dry their clothes and the things are lockable okay the second part of the video is me basically sharing as to how it is i'm living in a private accommodation and what has my experience been like in my building what i think the advantages and the disadvantages are so um living in a private accommodation honestly i feel like the only thing that you miss out on living in a private student accommodations or the things that i missed out on basically were like the activity that like people who live on on campus race like do and stuff like that and the fact that they have better wi-fi and the fact that they have um not that i'm saying our wi-fi is bad our wi-fi is it works really really well but living on campus the wi-fi never has problems sometimes when you live in a private stu student accommodation the wi-fi maybe will go down for two hours or there'll be like a minor problem but it's something that happens once in a while and on campus because it's a campus wi-fi is always there but that's the only thing they beat me with all is literally just the wi-fi and the fact that i missed out on like the games of orientation and also that they have people cook for them because you know cooking is not fun or cooking is not fun so to actually just like have somebody who, to take the stress off your shoulders is nice but at the same time i actually wouldn't prefer like the on-campus food especially university of pretoria like nah i don't um, nah. i don't think they do the most for like their students especially considering the fact that you cannot bring a stove and i don't think you can bring a stove i don't know but I don't think you can bring your own stoves. They don't provide stoves. So like if you want to make your own thing. Because like 
maybe you don't like the food that they provide you don't have that option so yeah um living in a private accommodation especially considering the fact that my accommodation is like five minutes away from school actually yeah the experience is good i don't feel it at all that i live maybe in a different place from like people who actually live on like the campus accommodations because the UP's accommodations, they're actually like on the main campus one. They're not on the campus. They're basically like next door the campus. Wait, I think there is one that is like on the campus. But I'm not... I'm not sure. But yeah, the ones that I've seen, they're basically like next door the campus. They're kind of like around the campus. And also my accommodation is the one of the accommodations that I actually around the campus. So yeah there's not much difference honestly i think like living in a private student accommodation is much more nicer actually like you just have like much more freedom you live in a nicer space too like private student accommodations definitely look better than the on-campus races and yeah you don't have to bring a microwave you don't have to bring a fridge you can cook for yourself if you want to so i think that's actually freedom in a way we don't have curfew um, we can have sleepovers there's just like a lot of perks to living in and private student accommodation that on campus you will not have my experience has been just fine i love living in a private student accommodation let's talk about my building specifically how has my building been treating me um first of all's edge is actually like a really nice place to live in um i haven't had much problems actually like it's been good the experience has been good i'm not coming back here next year but it has been fun mate it has been good the reason why i'm actually not coming back is because of like prices and stuff like that um not because the experience is bad experience is actually really really good um yeah and i hope it actually stays like that for the rest of the year because i don't like problems child the advantages of actually living at festival's edge you're five minutes away from main campus if you go to the university of pretoria you are literally five minutes away from shops you're five minutes away from clubs you're five minutes away from salons you're literally five minutes away from everything so yeah with also like the other races it's actually kind of like that but there are also races that are actually kind of far from things like apartments on williams it's so far from the shops i would never live there but yeah that's what i like about festival's edge it's literally like situated in a place where you literally like near everything everything is near one thing i actually like as being a first year especially a first year who actually wanted to live on on-campus race um because i wanted to live on on-campus race for the experience of the orientation right I wanted to go through all the traditions and fun stuff of orientation week but I couldn't do it because I live in a private student accommodation but the nice thing about this building it actually has its own orientation week um, they do a lot of um, games fun activities all the nice stuff so that was very very nice I actually got here late because I was struggling to actually find race after not being placed at school but when I actually got here and the few days of orientation of this building that I attended, so good. It was so good. And if you're a first year, um, I definitely would recommend it for you so that you'll actually be able to get the orientation experience even if you don't get it on campus. And also the building has like a lot of socials. Um, basically they have like a lot of like social events where you could go to and they do like a lot of different things. It could be painting, it could be poetry, it could be like a party where there's like wine, it could be like they do like a lot of different things. Like they even hold like serious socials, like okay, basically there's like the S L I or something like that, I'm not sure. Basically they have different categories, right? There's the academics, there's the social, whatever, there's the life after graduation, the sports, there's yeah. And basically the SLI 
they are the ones who hold like the events and then for the different categories there'll be like different things life after graduation does hold like a type of like meetups and events where they advise you on things um the social one is where you have like the parties of like yeah getting down and stuff and it, it's good for people who actually maybe like are not wild and don't prefer to go to like the world clubs and stuff like that you can still like have fun with your with your peers and you know let down your hair um in a controlled environment that is safe in your building and stuff um and then the sports one when you ha actually have to play like um sports or join some clubs on main campus you have to pay a membership fee and then when you live in this building um you get the chance of actually playing different types of sports and be in different type of clubs and you don't have to pay a fee free of charge i feel like that is really really nice and then they also have like an academics um category where they help you with like especially for first years who got here they help you with the parts of like register registering for modules and also like i showed you earlier with student life manager um miss tracy yeah she makes sure that we are jelly and everything is good she's the person who basically communicates to us whatever the building wants to say um also if you're like stressed during exams or you have anxiety or whatever you need a psychologist or person to talk you can go to miss tracy even those even though those things are also provided on campus like maybe if it's like a now thing um the down parts the down parts um basically the down parts for me of living here number one i might or might have not spotted one or two roaches around alive and all they were literally creeping around and that creeped me out like guys i like there are no roaches back home so when i saw them here <sighs> yeah that's yeah that was mm. and apparently not the entire building has roaches it's just like the lower level um um units that have roaches it's not a bad case but they're still there and they're all alive and yeah it's scary i don't know they said they scheduled a fumigation but the fumigation people haven't arrived um i hope they come soon another disadvantage um i don't know um if you actually watched my last tour when i showed you out my window i showed you a pub down there there's like a pub down there so there are those nights where they get insanely loud in that pub and they get so loud it feels like you're literally also there in the crowd so that is not nice like living next to a club is not nice but at the same time headfold is just like the student accommodations around here they all mixed to pubs so but they don't make noise every night so that's okay and also the management here i've heard one or two rumors that they're not so nice when I have to say something bad, I don't know, the accent just comes up. But yeah, the yeah, the, the management here looks like they're not very nice people and yeah, if you don't follow the rules, they will actually kick you out at 4 p.m. at night just to spite you. But yeah, I've just heard like a lot of funky stories about the management. I hope it does not get heated between me and them because I don't know what I'd do actually. But yeah, I hope everything remains merry, jelly, and we're like this. Also, how is it like living with a roommate? Because I live with a roommate. Um, living with a roommate for me is fine. Because I actually got a person who's actually very, very nice. Um, so yeah, as long as you get like somebody who's okay, your experience will be good. When you get somebody you actually just like don't gel with, you just clash with, it's gonna be hell. The experience is gonna be hell. But yeah, a lot of races you can actually switch if you don't like your roommates. I don't know on on-campus race, but the private student accommodations, if you don't gel with a person, you go report it to the student life manager and they try to switch you guys because 
private student accommodations they try to put their best foot forward to make sure that your experience is insanely nice um because um you know it's a business to them so they make sure that their customers are satisfied so that you can come back next year and next year or you just don't decide to leave and also another thing about like living here when you sign the lease to live here you will live here for the entire 10 months because the process of actually just like leaving the building is complicated it's complicated and it costs money and it costs money that you will not have as a student so yeah before you actually apply to festivals edge think about that so good so once you're here you're here you're not going anyway um i think i covered everything i hope i covered everything if i did not i'm sorry because like i did not write anything down so like the points are just like they're hopping around in my brain and some of them just hop out when they feel like it i'll also put more information if i forgot anything and i happen to remember it um when i edit or anything i'll just edit the information i'll type it out in the description box below and if you have questions you can ask me in the comment section below and i just want to say i love you so so much for watching please do come back next time and also do watch my video um the part one of this video um where i actually show you a tour of my dorm um it does not matter if you actually you don't have to watch it if you actually need like a dorm or you're looking for dorm options you can just watch it for entertainment you know because i feel like i'm very entertaining her kidding see you on the next one like damn she her move like damn she her move like damn she her move